Oh, so the, you're actually asking that in the prompt. Got it. Prompt itself. So the image and the will prompt like, supports that as far as a parameter? Ooh. Yes. Whoa. Whoa. So, but it's, we still have those red borders. Yes. So another thing, did, did you notice that for all these buttons, it added a kind oh, of the a... Oh, the gray, the translucent. Yes, the translucent material effect. Oh, what's your... Following oh. the Apple guidelines. Because we asked it to like go through the web and follow some... Yes. guidelines from the web that is, ladies and gentlemen did you just <laughs> see what we just did right there so if you missed that rewind back a little bit so we <laughs> we cooked <laughs> told it to follow apple's guidelines in the prompt in the, the composer view and so when you hit the at web and tell it to follow apple's design style guidelines it goes and searches the web and gets examples and then pulls those in and just does it automatically. So we didn't have to do a painstaking task of like taking each section of the code. It kind of like did it for us, which is one of the magic parts of Composer is that it knows a lot more about the code and then can modify more files at once. Wow, this is gorgeous. Yeah. Dude, what did you change? So as I mentioned before, right, I didn't want the scale to fit, right? I wanted it to scale to fill. Oh. So it just makes it a bit this bigger is on the screen. Hot, and dude. It, <laughs> it's much better 